I am going to teach you how to change decimal numbers into rational numbers. So last time, we already discussed about the types of decimals. These are the terminating decimals and the repeating decimals. So for this video, I am going to teach you both how to change terminating decimals into rational numbers, the same as how to change uh, repeating decimals into rational numbers. So let's say we have here example number one. And this is a terminating decimal, okay? So 0 0.5. And let's say I am going to change this into a rational number, right? A fraction, no? So for me to be able or for us to be able to change this, the place value of decimal numbers will take place. So as a review, I am going to write uh, the place value of decimal number. So let's say I have here a mixed decimal. Okay. Ayan. So, di ba, sa whole numbers, um, yung place value, unang una is ones, and then yung pangalawa is tens, and then yung pangatlo is hundreds. Di ba? So, these are the part of whole numbers. Whole numbers to. Sa left side sila ng decimal point. This is your uh, decimal point. Yung mga nasa left side ng decimal point, sila yung mga whole numbers. Okay? Always, yung place value nila always ends with S. Okay? Dito naman sa right side ng decimal point, ang place value na nauna ay tenths agad. Tenths. Yung place value ng decimal numbers always ends with THS. Okay? And then, the first place value lagi sa decimal numbers is tenths. So, wala po tayong ones. Okay? And then, the next one is hundreds. And then, thousands and then ten thousands so this is just a review bakit ko ito review kasi it will take place in this lesson no? dapat po alam nyo yung place value ng decimal numbers kasi gagamitin natin siya in changing uh, decimal numbers into rational numbers. So, yan lang. Na-review ko lang siya na very, very slight. So, in this case, kasi we are looking for uh, the value of the numerator over the denominator. ba? So, ganito po. Lagi nating tantaan. Kapag decimal number yung given, yung numerator mo ay yung mga decimal numbers. Okay, so in this case, ang decimal number natin, wala tayong whole number, so wala tayong ilalagay dito. Okay, wala tayong ilalagay dyan. So mamaya, later on, magbibigay ako paano kapag, ma kapag mixed decimal yung given. So, ang ilalagay po sa numerator, kapag ginawa natin siyang rational number, is the decimal number. So, in this example, the given decimal number here is just 5. So, 5 yung... Um, Numerator natin. How about, ma'am, the denominator? The denominator is the place value of your, of the last decimal number. So, in this case, isa lang naman yung decimal number. And ano ba yung place value ni 5 here? So, ang place value niya ay tenths. ba? So, therefore, ang denominator nito ay 10. Kasi yun yung place value ni 5. Okay? Or ng dulong decimal number. So, we have 5 over 10. But then, dapat po, when we when we transform um, decimals into rational number, again, lagi po siyang nakasimplify. Okay? So, si 5 over 10, we can actually simplify this using the greatest common factor of 5 and 10, which is 5. So, we can still divide them by 5. So, 5 divided by 5, that is 1, and 10 divided by 5, that is 2. So, therefore, the equivalent rational number 
of 0 0.5 is 1 half. So, ayan na po ang sagot ninyo. So, madali lang naman siya. Pag terminating, okay, terminating muna tayo. How about, uh, let's say, I have this second example. Let's say we have 0. Point, uh, let's say, um, 15. Yeah, let's say we have 0. 0.15. And then I am going to change this into a rational number. Yeah. So again, we are looking for the value of your numerator and your denominator. So, wala, again, na whole number, so there is no problem. Di tayo maglalagay dito sa part na to. Okay? So again, your numerator is your decimal number. So in this case, we have 15. Okay? Yun yung mga decimal numbers natin. Yun yung decimal numbers natin. 15. Okay? Yung denominator natin, kung ano yung place value nung dulong decimal number mo, yung nasa dulo. Kanina kasi, ang hirap i-explain nung part na yun kasi isa lang. Yung decimal number. Dito, dalawa. So, between 1 and 2, I end with, between 1 and 5, sorry, between 1 and 5, na, mas nasa dulo si 5. No? Si 5 yung nasa dulo. Therefore, yun yung susundin natin na decimal uh, place value. Okay. So, ang um, place value ni 5 here ay 10, so hundreds. Therefore, ang denominator mo ay 100. Kasi hundreds yung place value niya. So, 100. So, observing this 15 over 100, we can still simplify this, no? By the GCF again. So, ano kaya ang GCF ni 15 and 100? So, I think that is... 5. Okay. GCF is 5. And then 15 divided by 3, that is... Ah, sorry. 15 divided by 5, that is 3. Over 100 divided by 5, that is 20. So therefore, this will be now the equivalent rational number of the given, which is 0 0.15. So the answer is 3 over 20. How about another example? So let's say we have example number 3 and let's say we have 0 0.375. And I'm going to change this into a rational number. So again, we are looking for the value of the numerator and the denominator. The value of your numerator will be your decimal number, so 375. And then the value of the denominator is the place value of the last decimal number. So yung last dito is yung 5, okay? So ano ba ang place value ni 5? So we have tenths, hundreds, thousands. So the place value of 5 is thousands. Therefore, yung denominator mo ay 1,000. Okay, kasi thousand yung place value niya. So, observing this, we can still simplify this no, by dividing by the GCF. Okay, so ang GCF po nito ay 125. So, 375 divided by 125, the answer is 3. 1,000 divided by 125, the answer is 8. So, in, kung nahihirapan kayong kumuha ng GCF, Kasi sobrang laki na ng numbers. Pwede nyo naman, anak, na unti-unti n. So, halimbawa, uh, si 375 tsaka si 1,000, di-divide mo muna siya, let's say, sa sure mo na pwede mo siyang i-divide. Halimbawa, di-divide mo muna siya sa 5. Tapos, i-divide mo ulit siya sa 5. Tapos, i-divide mo ulit siya sa 5. Pwede na slowly, no? pwede paulit-ulit mo siyang i-divide. Ako kasi, ayan, kinuha ko na agad yung DCF niya, which is yung, which is 125. Pero, kung nahihirapan kayong kumuha ng GCF na malalaking number like this, you can divide uh, by smaller numbers. Okay? Para hindi kayo mahirapan. So, yun lang. How about if, halimbawa, the given 
the given decimal is a mixed decimal. So, paano kaya yun? So, let's say I have, uh, what example are we? Example number 4. And then, let's say, um, let's say I have 15 point So I have fifteen point um fifteen point twenty five. Let's say yes. Yeah. And then I am going to change that into a rational number. So how am I going to change this or how to be able to change this into a rational number? So first of all, again, we are looking for the value of your numerator and the denominator. So in this example, meron na siyang whole number. So we can just rewrite or write the whole number here in this part, okay? And then the value of your numerator is 25. And then your denominator depends on the place value of the last decimal number. So in this case, uh, the place value of the last decimal number is hundreds, okay? So your denominator is equal to 100. So now, observing this 25 over 100, I can still divide them by the GCF, which is 25, diba? So therefore, 25 divided by 25, that is 1. 100 divided by 25, that is 4. Therefore, the answer is... The answer is um, 15 and 1 fourth. So that will be your final answer. Okay? So that is how you uh, change or express terminating decimals into rational numbers. How about if the given is uh, a repeating decimal? So let's say we have this example. Example na tayo. So yeah, let's say this is the first example for ano, changing repeating decimals into rational numbers. Okay, so let's say we have 0 0.6 and then may bin kilom siya sa taas. Or this can also be expressed as 0 0.666 then ellipsis. So how do we able to change this repeating or recurring decimal into a rational number? So para pumasolve natin yung decimal na to, which is a repeating decimal, all we have to do is magpo-form po tayo ng dalawang equation. Okay? So the first equation will be, gagamitin natin yung given natin. And then, i-equate natin sa x. So, paano po ba yun, ma? So, ganito. Ganito siya. The first uh, equation will be x is equal to, and then yung given natin. Written in this form, dapat. Okay? So, 0, point, and then 6, 6, 6, 6, and then ellipsis. So, yan yung unang equation natin. And then, the second equation will be depende kung ano or ilang decimal number yung umuulit. 
So in this case po, ang umuulit na decimal number lang ay isa. Okay? So isa, si 6 lang, di ba? Ano yung place value ni 6? Isa lang siya. Isa lang siya umuulit. So di ba 10? Tenths yung place value niya. So therefore, we will add 10 kay x. 10x. Si 10, nakuha natin sa place value no 6. Si 6 yung umuulit na decimal number. Kung ano yung place value ng umuulit na decimal number, yun yung ilalagay natin na katabi ni x. Equal to, ano na yun ma'am? So, itong given na to, we will move the decimal number depende dun sa zero no place value niya. Yung place value, ay 10, di ba? Tenths. So, 10. So, ilang beses natin i-move yung decimal number niya papunta sa kanan. So, alimbawa, ayan, 0 0.6666, di ba? And then, ellipsis. I-move natin siya depende sa place value. Ang place value ay tenths. Okay? So, ang 0 ng 10 ay isa. Therefore, isang beses natin siya imubo sa kanan. So, magiging na siya 6.6666 and then 666 So, yun po yung isulat natin dito sa pangalawang equation. Yeah. So, now that we have both the equation, we will be subtracting the first equation from the second equation. So, magiging solution yan, ganito. So, sulat nyo yung second equation. So, 10x is equal to 6.6666 and then ellipsis minus x, yung first equation, is equal to um, 0 0.6666 and then ellipsis over n. Okay? So, here, as you can see, subtract natin si x from 10x. So, 10x minus x, that is 9x po. So, lagi pag walang, kat walang katabing number si x dito, 1 po yun. So, 10 minus 1, that is 9x. Okay? So, algebra na yun eh. Is equal to so, dito, makakancel na itong mga 6 na to, di ba? Minus puro 0, 0, 0 na yan lahat. Ito na lang pagmaminusin natin. 6 minus 0, that is 6. Okay? And then, we are looking for the value of x. Kasi yun yung magiging sagot natin. Para mahanap natin yung value ni x, kailangan nating tanggalin si 9. Okay? Para matanggal si 9, we need to divide this by 9. So, kung nag-divide tayo ng 9 dyan, mag-divide din tayo sa kabila ng 9. Yan. Mumove ko lang siya pataas kasi hindi na kasya. So, therefore, makakancel na tong si 9. Matitira na lang si x. And then, observing this 6 over 9, we can still simplify this, di ba? Divide natin siya sa 3, which is the GCF. Okay. So, 6 divided by 3, that is 2. 9 divided by 3, that is 3. Therefore, ang rational number pala na equivalent dito sa repeating decimal na to is equal to or delete ko muna tong part na to. So, yung rational number pala na equivalent niya ng repeating decimal na to ay equal to 2 over 3. Yan na ngayon yung answer. Okay? So, let's say we have another example. So, let's say I have this repeating decimal. So, 0 0.123 and then may bin kilo sila sa taas. Or this can be expressed as 0 0.123 and then 123 and then 123 and then paulit-ulit. Ulit. Ellipsis. Okay? So, again, maghahanap tayo ng, or magde-derive tayo ng dalawang equation using the given. So, again, the first equation is, is equal to x is equal to 
the given. Ito. 0 0.123, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. Okay? And then the second equation is equal to the place value of the repeating decimal. So, dito, ang repeating decimal mo ay tatlo. Ang kukunin mong place value niya, of course, lagay nasa dulo. Okay? So, this is tens, hundreds, thousands. So, ang katabi ng x ay 1,000. Kasi yun yung place value ng dulo decimal number mo na repeating. Okay? 1,000x is equal to... Ngayon, para makuha natin yung decimal dito, so I'm going to rewrite this, no? Hindi ko nalagyan ng ellipses dito. Okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then ulit-ulit. Ayan. Kung ilan yung zero dito, yun yung movement ng decimal point na gagawin mo dito sa given. Okay? So, ang mangyayari dyan, i-move natin siya ng ilang beses? Tatlong beses kasi tatlo yung zero doon. So, 1, 2, 3. Diyan na ngayon yung decimal point mo. So, if I am going to rewrite that, 123.123, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, then 1, 2, 3, and then so on. So, yan na. May given na tayo pare. So, ayan. And then, now, we we can now solve. No? So, we will be uh, subtracting the first equation from the second equation. So, pag sinulat ko yan, so, 1000x is equal to 123.123 and then 123, 123, then ellipsis. Minus x is equal to 0 0.123, 123, 123, and then ellipsis. Over yan. So I'm just going to erase this para we have, we have, we have a lot of space. No? And then, I'm going to move the solution. So, may naiwan. So, ayan. So, now, let's subtract, no? So, 1000x minus uh, x. This will be 999x, no? Kasi, mabawasan natin siya ng 1 is equal to, of course, this will be cancelled, no? 123 minus 0 is equal to 123. So, now, we are looking for the value of x. So, kailangan mawala si 999 na katabi niya. So, we need to divide it by 999 para makancel. So, kung nag-divide tayo dyan, sa left side ng equation natin, magdi-divide din tayo dito sa right side. So, 999 din. So, therefore, this will be cancelled. Ang matitira na lang is CX is equal to 123 over 999. So, observing that, pwede pa ba natin siyang isimplify? Yes, pwede pa natin siyang isimplify by the use of the GCF. So, ano kaya ang GCF nito? Ang GCF nila ay 3. Pwede pa natin siya i-divide sa 3. Sila, parehong both. So, 123 divided by 3, the answer here is 41. And then, 999 divided by 3, the answer is 333. So, let's check if our answer are correct. So, yeah, that is correct. Therefore, the equivalent rational, um, I mean, sinek ko siya sa calculator, mga ano, no? Kaya ako sinabing, let's check. Therefore, tama yung GCF natin, tama yung pagkakadivide natin. Therefore, the equivalent rational number 
of this repeating decimal is 41 over 300. Oh, sorry. 3 over... Lan, naglag. Naglag siya. 41 over 333. This will be your answer. So that is how you change terminating and repeating decimals into rational numbers.